Cube Basic Tutorial 2. In the previous video, which was Cube Basic Programming Tutorial and Understanding, we learned about how Cube Basic works. We explained something small about the various areas of the screen, from the main menu bar, which is located at the top, to the status bar, which is located at the bottom. Each menu on the main menu, like File, Edit, View, etc., contains submenus. The scroll bars, as we already know, allows us to move forward, backwards, upwards, and downwards the work page. Now, what is the function of these menus of the main menu bar? One debug, two run, three search. Let's take put one after the other. Debug. Debug is used to find and fix errors. The debug contains these sub-menus. Add watch, instant watch, delete watch, etc. Also trace on, history on, breakpoints, break on errors, and set next statement. The watch options in the debug sub-menu allows us to monitor values together as variables during the execution. There are two breakpoints, the toggle breakpoints, which is used to set breakpoints and clear our breakpoints. The trace on allows us to trace how the program is succeeding and the history on allows us to trace in about 20 statements preceding the course of the error. Run at the end of every program where there is no syntax error, we can execute the program through the process of running. Search The search menu contains find, selected tests, repeat last find, change and label. To place and also to find a test, the find helps us in doing so. To change names of variables, the change options can help us. Therefore, new name can be given to the variable. We can search or make reference of labels using the label option located on the search menu. This were the menus of the main menu bar. We can name our program and it will be displayed on the area known as Untitled. Moving on to the next level of QBasic Tutorial.